Greetings, fellow Capricorns. Yes, I am Capricorn as well. Um, I hope you're doing okay. Um, I make sure I take care of my Capricorns. I, I most definitely do. Okay, so Capricorn, um, there may need, there may actually be a need to, you know, take better care of yourself, drink more water, stay hydrated, um, spend time near water if that is the case as well. Also, um, you know, if you do need to go to the doctor, make sure you get the necessary checkups that you need. Um, I'm getting like an area where the throat is. So this could be like your thigh thyroid like getting your thyroid checked out um um is what i'm feeling like so there's like some issue uh going on here like in the throat section um is what i'm feeling so it could be your thyroid could be like your throat um something stuck um uh, it may be like you need to say something to someone or someone needs to say something to you um like it, like something stuck it's like it's almost like um like you want to cough something up um it could be phlegm it could be like maybe you're pregnant and maybe like you're nause nauseous um but i'm feeling like like something needs to come up so if you like if you want to throw up that could also be like another situation as well it could be because of pregnancy uh it could be because of uh, like some kind of stomach issue um it could be like you just need to drink more water uh diatomaceous herb would help with this as well okay all right so it feels very health like um but there's a need to be healthy uh there's a need to be checked out if that is the case also if you are having uh that kind of issue with like, your throat um if you feel nauseous if that's the case okay um ginger uh, you know if you take if you eat ginger candy or if you eat ginger consume ginger drink ginger ale that, that might also help if you are pregnant if you are dealing with nausea if you're not pregnant you're dealing with nausea for whatever reason um um, ginger and ginger candy, ginger ale, uh, anything with ginger in it uh, will help you out. If you're having stomach pain, period, uh, diatomaceous earth um, will help out with any stomach pain that you're having, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Um, I want a sign of Capricorn for June 26th to uh, July 2nd, 2017 for Capricorn. So let's see what's going on here, Capricorn. All right, so let's see what's going on. Two... So something about a week is very important. So it could be something, a relationship is coming full circle, a thought process uh, is coming full circle for you in about a week. Um, you're going to move in about a week. You're getting hired in about a week, um, about a week ago, <laughs> I'm being silly. Um, but there's something about, there's a new relationship that's coming, culminating uh, in about a week. It could, that could also be another case. Could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Uh, this could be like, I'm also getting like saying goodbye to someone as well, or saying goodbye to say hello is the vibe that i'm getting so you're saying goodbye to say hello um like you could be leaving an uh, a old relationship to go into a new one you could be leaving an old job to go into a new one you could be changing positions uh moving house to move into a new one uh that's the kind of vibe that i also get king of pentacles is like i'm i'm literally going to someone who is going to be financially stable for me or i am that financially stable person that is moving into a new house that is moving into a new job and i'm happy I'm happy about it. I'm happy as to like what has been offered to me is the kind of vibe that I'm getting. So if this is like will inheritance. This is like lawsuit money. This is something that um, uh, insurance, some kind of insurance, something that you've been waiting on to come in for you. Um, it's, it's, it's a go. Like it's a good vibe that's getting here. Um, this also represents the sign of Taurus. So it could be like... Um, you may have had to like say goodbye to a tourist. Maybe this person is like moving away. Uh, they, they're traveling away is the kind of vibe. Or they could be visiting you. I'm getting like they may, like I said, there is a goodbye. There is a saying goodbye to say hello kind of vibe. So maybe it is that like you left a tourist or a tourist left you. Um, but it's almost like it's, it's for a certain amount of time as for only a period of time or it, there needs to be there is a, a time where that you're going to need to heal from this relationship is what I'm getting here with a Taurus. Um, next card that's coming up is the page of Pentacles. Um, there's a lot of earth like energy going on here. This could be your energy as well. Um, like I like I said, this could be a new job, a new relationship. Um, uh, you could be leaving, like I said, leaving a relationship to go into a new one. This represents newness. This Ace of Cups and this page of Pentacles is like um, 
I, I want newness. I actually, I want to be with someone younger than me is the kind of vibe that I also get. So if you're older, you're kind of like having your eyes on someone that is younger than you um, is the, or vice versa. Like you are the younger one and someone older is into you, um, but they're not extremely far uh, in age than you. This could be like someone who is like in their late twenties and you're your early twenties, um, vice versa with that kind of energy. Three of Wands is like uh, you're worried, like there's fear associated with uh, this new relationship. So the, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they could be fire sign. Uh, you're worried about living with them. You're worried about leaving them. Uh, like I said, goodbye to say hello. You may be leaving a fire sign individual to move on, uh, to move in with a Taurus, to, to see a Taurus, or you're leaving a Taurus to go to a fire sign. Um, there's a vice versa kind of energy going on here as well. This Three of Wands also is like this new job environment is gonna is it is happening to you for a reason so you were asked to leave a position because of uh, there were terrible people in it there the people weren't nice they weren't kind um and that's why you may be leaving this work environment to go into something that uh is a bit more nurturing that's that's happier that's um i'm also getting kinder kinder people you're surrounding yourself by with kinder people with a kinder person, a less greedy person, less greedy people, um, in order for you to find the healing within yourself here with the Ace of Cups energy. Next card that's coming up is the higher font. So you may be doing spiritual healing or you are that spiritual healer. The higher font is the sign of Taurus. So you literally have you have two Taurus cards here. Um your Taurus, this, yeah, these two cards are Taurus. The Hierophant and the King of Pentacles represents the sign of Taurus. Um, it could be like, like you need to pick up and possibly, like you're trying to see if you want this person to live with you is the kind of vibe that I also get. Uh, maybe they're having difficulty with money. That's why the Page of Pentacles is here. Or so you're moving in with someone else because uh, they want, you know, to help you out financially. They're offering you a job, a new position is the feeling that I'm getting. The Hierophant is also like I, doing necessary prayers and meditations that you need to stay balanced um, throughout this change. Um, this is a serious change is what I'm getting. And it feels like with this person. Um, but like you need prayer to go through this. You need prayer to heal through this situation, uh, whatever it is that is surrounding this individual. They are right in the middle because I usually do it kind of like a star, like a flower, like this, like a sunflower. So this person is in the middle or like you want sunflowers because there there is a lot of yellow here. So it could be like you want to send this person sunflowers. They're sending you sunflowers like somebody's receiving flowers uh, if they're not sunflowers. OK, um, it could be sunflower seeds like you're eating sunflower seeds but too many of them or there's something there's something going on with like colon like your colon um be careful of eating too much popcorn um things that you don't want like popcorn or popcorn seeds sunflower seeds uh to get stuck in those areas is what I'm getting. Knight of Pentacles, um, or it could be like maybe this person um was eating sunflower seeds or like they were eating seeds or popcorn or kernels and like uh, like it got stuck is what i'm getting like the, the kernels got stuck somewhere what in this person it doesn't have to be you and it's like they're telling you that popcorn kernels or seeds got stuck in their colon got stuck somewhere is the kind of feeling that i get knight of pentacles that's interesting knight of pentacles is the next card that is coming up so it does feel like um someone needs money uh for surgery someone needs to get surgery done is the feeling that i'm getting here and i very heavily feel like uh there's taurus energy or someone who is very nurturing someone who is like a mentor someone who is always there for you uh this could be you um, I'm not saying you need surgery, but I'm saying that uh, just be careful what you consume and how you consume it um, is the kind of vibe that I'm getting. If it's a relationship, be careful of how you enter into a relationship because of uh, repercuss repercussions um, coming towards you. There is a lot of yellow. So rising in the morning may be very important. Rising in the morning. Okay, so rising up uh ascending rising in the morning may be important um waking up early in the morning um it could even be like this also kind of looks like sunset because these this king of pentacles the yellow in this card is is not as dark as the three of wands as the yellow in the three of wands card so it could be like you're like like 
like the sun sets on a particular day is very like sunrise and sunset like that saying um may be very important to you is what i'm feeling like next card is the 10 of clubs uh 10 of wands energy um there is a burden that you are uh handling that you are walking with um is how i feel like uh there could be yeah there is something here that is is heavy on you, heavy on the soul, heavy on the spirit is the kind of vibe that I get. Next card is the Nine of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, and the High Priestess energy as well. So there's spirituality. I'm going to say there's spirituality tied uh, into an ascension process. Um into somebody's ascension process around you so this could be cancer scorpio pisces uh energy like their ascension process um realizing their ascension process you're learning about what ascension even means um in terms of maybe someone was going to church a lot maybe someone was praying a lot meditating a lot someone was very very like heavily spiritual but it 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 kind of like they were this way because they, they were ascending or they were this way because they they were entering into uh their higher form is the kind of vibe that i'm getting so very heavily spiritual vibe is what i'm getting here because like i said uh there's a sunrise and sunset kind of vibe is what's going on here so sunrise meaning like spending time um outside in the morning rising and possibly taking care of things if you're trying to look for work there is a need if you're going to get up early if you're going to wake up early uh spend the time job hunting uh spend the time um uh in parks somewhere where you can get the time to meditate is the kind of feeling that i'm also getting um sunset meaning like sunset literally six o'clock it may be important that time frame um that maybe like you're getting a call at six o'clock uh within this time frame is the kind of feeling that i'm also getting um but it has a lot to do with your high priestess energy it has a lot to do with your intuition about a particular person um but right here in the center is the sign of taurus uh like i said it doesn't have to be a taurus but this could be a taurus that you are uh interacting with as well they may be the ones that you are communicating communicating with in terms of uh, something that they want to tell you, something that needs to be told is what I'm getting here. So if you are, this could even be like a confessional, like you're going, if you are Catholic or you're into Catholicism, um, there's this, this could be like you're confessing something, confessing, like this could be sins. Like if you're, like, if someone around you is highly spiritual in that sense, um, like they're going to confessionals and they're getting like baptisms done um, and things of that nature, this could be the person that's doing doing it this could be a Taurus that's doing this could be actually you that's doing it, it doesn't have to be uh, the sign of Taurus that is around here nine of cups uh can Scorpio Pisces energy this could be someone that um, they they're feeling like they want to give more than they actually can uh, for you so if they're if they're needing to be by your side for whatever reason uh, they're needing to help you out uh, feel better uh, nurture you be a nurturing individual they're doing the best that they can is the kind of feeling that they too are also uh, very they too are spiritually inclined they too are uh, very in tuned they are also uh i'm getting like they're clairvoyant there's clairvoyance going on here um within the connection that you have with a cancer scorpio pisces and maybe a taurus energy as well you are clairvoyant you are spiritual within yourself is what i'm getting and so is this uh this uh scorpio this cancer scorpio pisces energy is what i'm getting here but somebody or somebody is learning uh solely about uh meditation learning about what it means to ascend uh learning what it means uh, what spirituality means what spirituality is all about uh libra was getting this as well too um so uh there's a lot of spiritual learning is what's going on here spiritual learning in terms of like maybe your own health how to better your health how to uh maybe you want to do seven day i was getting number seven a lot so maybe seven day vegan challenge uh is very important um in terms of like uh your third eye um and meditating and being more spiritual finding the time to be more spiritual um is how i'm getting i'm also feeling like there needs to be uh, a time to spend more time having fun like maybe you're not having enough fun maybe you're like stressing too much you're spending a lot of time at home um but there's a need to get out um be your old self again like you had a lot of healing to do basically is what it feels like you may have been worrying about a job you may have been worrying about work uh is what i'm getting but it may even be like the kind of work that you're doing you're worried about 
right here in the center. So this kind of feels like to me like you humanitarian work, um, social work, community service, um, corporate world, uh, uh, music, any kind of job that you are doing that caters to other people to some way, shape or form uh, is a kind of vibe that has been tiring. It has been tiring for you. Um, needing to be there for people. So this Taurus, it doesn't have to be a female energy only. This could be like a male energy that you're dealing with. Maybe you have a kid with this person, if that's the case. Um, like you're worried possibly about this person not having money to take care of the child. Um, I'm getting like adoption. So people are around you are trying to get you to adopt are telling you that you know you can't handle being a parent is the kind of vibe that i am also getting as well okay um if you are bringing a child into the world so if there is a spiritual type between you and your kids yes that is what's happening there uh you want to connect to your children you want to connect with the children that you work with you want to connect to the people that you work with that you work with is how i also feel um there's a need to possibly take leave from work if you have been spending long hours um at work or even in school if you want to go back to school that is also an option um in terms of your planning ahead you need financial aid you need to pay off your loans you need to do these things if you want to go back to school it's how i feel like if there may be a child in, in in the mix of this uh look into if you do have children look and you want to go back to school look into daycare for the child if that is the case uh look into putting the child into daycare or uh, reconnecting with your mother um, is how I also feel. Connect with your mother is how I'm feeling. Uh, they may be the Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. They don't have to be, but someone who's nurturing, someone who has always been there for you all your life uh, that you're trying to connect to, okay, is how I also feel. So you can associate that with a relationship, a, per, a personal life situation, a job, um, even. And there's needing, a uh, connection is being made. Uh, a connection needs to be made between you and the people that you work for or that work for you, if that is the case. Um, a connection needs to be made in a relationship with someone who was like a guru, with someone who is, uh, I'm getting like a music inclined person so someone may be singing to you someone may be um, expressing how they feel about you and it could be a Taurus this could just be someone who uh, this could be a spiritual person that is helping you that is teaching you something new on the spiritual on the spiritual front is what I'm also getting so I feel like you may have come out of a situation where um, you didn't really believe in something spiritually but now it's making sense uh, and now it makes sense to other people is what I'm getting now it makes sense to, uh, to a cancer Scorpio Pisces energy is what I'm also getting. Now they're making sense of what you're going through. If you are ascending, they're making sense of that. Uh, you're becoming into your higher self or you're opening up. Um, but this has a lot to do because you tapped in. You're tapping into like the holistic side of, of who you are. You are a whole, you may be a holistic pro practitioner. You may be looking into that, selling things that you make, um, whether you make oils and soaps and food, uh, you're looking into possibly selling these things to people, open it, opening up a storefront business. Uh, but this will help your family out is, is what I'm getting. So, you know, financially. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, overall outcome for the sign of Capricorn. Uh, okay, wow. Like less than a second that came out. So you have justice. Justice is a sign of Libra. A uh, Libra may be like not liking what you're doing. Uh, like I was, I was getting Libra in terms of uh, them connecting to their spiritual self as well. So it could be like maybe this person is upset with what you're doing. They don't like what you're doing. Um, it could be because there's maybe there's jealousy involved with this individual. They may be jealous as to like what you're doing, how you're doing it. That, that there's like they're jealous for some reason as to like what you're doing, the kind of work that you do. Um, if not that, it could be like people, uh, like I said, you are trying to help your family do something that uh, they like you want them to listen. Like you want them to listen. Um, is going to bring in a lot of money is going to bring in a lot of uh financial gain that's why the knight of pentacles is here i feel like you may have been upset or you may have been complaining about finances for a long period of time but you have someone here could be another capricorn taurus virgo uh energy that's coming in here that's like okay i have a great idea for you to start a business i have a great business proposition i just want you to listen to it just take the time out to listen to me so you could be doing this to someone someone is doing this to you um it's all about listening 
listening to your spiritual path, listening to your path um, in that case too as well. Justice kind of comes in to say, okay, I'm doing this uh, to help myself and to help others. But you know what? You know what is coming uh, coming out of it? How are people benefiting from it? How can I benefit others? That you know, uh, you know what? What is what does giving back really look like? If that's the question you want to ask for that kind of situation. So if it's like you want to reconnect with people, you want to reconnect with a particular person in your life. Um, you're worried as to like how they're gonna take this. Is the kind of vibe that I, how they're gonna take you coming back in? Uh, they want to talk to you. They want to say something to you. Like how you're gonna take it? Um, they may be catching you upon surprise. There may be an element of surprise here, and it's like you're like, yes, my wishes are finally coming true. Now I can do this. Now I can do that. This, that, and the third, because something is now coming in for me. So whether that be like a marriage, a uh, uh, a voyage, like you're traveling, you're going somewhere that you're finally getting a chance to go. Uh, you know, because experiences are more important to you than material things is the kind of vibe that I also get as well, okay? All right then, Capricorn. Um, that concludes your reading. I hope that it was uh, enjoyable for you, most importantly, insightful. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. My readings are 34 half an hour, and an hour is 60. Um, my Instagram is also available. My PayPal as well is available for private readings. Um, I am saving up for Reiki training, so you can send uh, that don uh, general donation to the channel as well. Uh, Reiki is healing energy for the hands um, that I'm trying to save up for to take courses in. Okay, so um, my uh, PayPal for donations is available to that too as well, okay? So take care and have a blessed week. Bye.